Benjamin Franklin! Yeah, I really should stop playing with lightning. <sighs> I'm afraid these spectacles are ruined. Never play around with electricity, children. It can hurt you real bad. It's a wonder I'm still alive. But on the bright side, my kite experiment did prove that lightning is electricity. Electricity? Yeah, you want to learn about it? That's why we came here. Well then, let's start at the very beginning. The entire universe is made of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are made of even smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. And electrons fly around the nucleus in circles at almost the speed of light. Wow. And sometimes when atoms get close to each other, electrons will jump from one atom to another atom. And that is electricity. That's easy. But electricity only becomes useful if we create a current out of it. Now, to create an electrical current, we need a power source, like a battery, a conductor, like a copper or aluminum wire, and a switch. When the switch turns on, the magnetic charges in the battery pull electrons through the wire, making a current. When the switch turns off, the current stops. Is that how light bulbs turn off and on? It is. Let's put a light bulb on our circuit. Now when we turn the current back on, the light bulb shines. When we turn the current off, the light bulb stops shining. If the wire is copper or aluminium, why are all the wires and power cables in my house rubber? Ah, the copper or aluminum wires are inside the rubber. Oh, I see. Rubber is a protective insulator that makes sure the electrical current in the wire doesn't escape and start a fire or shock someone. Hmm. If a wire isn't protected by rubber and you accidentally touch it while a current is flowing, yeah! Oh no! He's higher than a kite! Ah, that's Ben for you. Hello. I'm sure Ben already told you all about me. No? Michael Faraday? The guy who invented the electric motor? Um... The famous experiment with the mercury water and the magnets? No? Oh, all right. Let's put it this way. The power plants and batteries that generate the electricity that powers your lives wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. Oh. You're flickering. I am? Hako, you just flickered too. When was the last time you charged your batteries? Um, mm, uh, maybe 10 days ago? That sounds like a long time. Batteries need to be recharged regularly or they will lose all their power. Hako, what will happen to us if your batteries go out and we're stuck in here? We better go home. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.